everybody, it's Bunny, and it's time for my April favorites. April is over. I'm kind of excited. I'm always thinking the future is gonna be better. I'm using the power of positive thinking. I'm gonna think that I'm gonna have a fantastic May. I did not do a March favorites video. Why? Slacken. This is actually gonna kind of be like a springtime favorites. Right off the top, my most favorite brand new life discovery has been K-dramas. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I've tweeted about them quite frequently. I do recommend, well, it, it's a major life commitment uh, for me to recommend these to you guys because they are so entertaining. They are a lot like soap operas, a lot of them, so the plot just sucks you in and it's those kind of shows where you're like, oh, I'm just gonna watch just one more episode, just one more episode, and then it's like eight in the morning and you don't know what you've done with your life. It all started with a Netflix recommendation and the first one that Dogman and I ever watched was Nightmare High and those episodes were only like 15 minutes long or something. We liked that one so much that we clicked on the next recommended one, which was Hello My Twenties. That show is amazing. I am so happy to learn that there will be a season two of that. And then I think the next one I did was Boys Over Flowers. I know that that one's an older one. I think so far that one has been my favorite. Dogman didn't really get into that one, but I really did. But that is like an emotional commitment, okay? And it's 26 uncomfortable episodes long. So just, just know that. We keep meaning to subscribe to Drama Fever. I know that that's like a Netflix thing, but it's solely for like K-dramas and I think um, dramas from Japan as well. So I don't know, I'll, maybe I'll have a life update for you guys in May and let you know if I got sucked into a whole new thing. Next monthly favorite is this adorable doll and I wanted to put her in my March favorites that and film that video. She's my little mini me. She's like the version of me that always looks so cute, so perfect with the makeup and the hair and, and an adorable outfit. Um, so this was custom made for me by a doll repainter. And you guys, her work is breathtaking, amazing. She does all kinds of characters. She also does like custom dolls for like normal people like yours truly but she is color to the bone on instagram she's out of australia but i mean she just look at all the love and care that went into this doll i will cherish her for the rest of my life she's so adorable she actually sent me like two or three different outfits for her and this adorable little gator that's just like wrapped around her so cute i was just looking at her instagram account and she recently did um like supergirl i mean just look at how cute these are and she also did um bride of frankenstein amazing and the other one i just saw is sally from nightmare before christmas adorable 10 out of 10 do recommend did i say it's a repaint i mean that's the coolest thing about this is i think that this started out as a Draculaura doll, I think, from Monster High. She reroutes the hair, she does all the repainting. It's so, so, so cool. Since we just looked at my phone, I have to say that this is my next monthly favorite, you guys. I'm obsessed with this phone case. I got it off of Wish and I just paid a dollar for it. And I'm gonna try and link you to it down below. If you shop on Wish, I do recommend that you use PayPal. It's just the safest way to pay for anything online, you know? I also bought a clear one because then you can like take different scrapbook papers like rainbow or tie-dye or hollow whatever and you would still get the three-dimensional heart shape but then it would just like you know it'd be it would be clear you know so I think I paid a dollar for this and there are a ton of different listings for this I mean that's the crazy thing about wish is like you can type in like 3d heart case and I'm sure you would get like 60 different listings for this item I mean it's like really good quality for a dollar it's super cute up next is a couple of makeup recommendations. The first one is the MAC in the Flesh palette. If you watch some of my vlogs, I actually put when I bought this palette, and I think it is supposed to be like all different, like nudes, you know, for all different skin tones. Although, who has gold, sparkly skin? Okay, because I'm 
very jealous of somebody who has like twilight vampire skin where your skin just twinkles can i have that please mostly i use this color right here i am literally dreading when i'm gonna hit pan on it because i'm not sure you know like sometimes mac just takes like shadows that they already sell independently as singles and then they make them into these palettes you know kind of like repackage them for these special launches but i'm gonna have to do some research i think that this one is called rustique is it i don't know rustique maybe i have it on today it is like just the right grungy shade for like just light grunge it has that kind of like mauve nude kind of color is that okay to say in this setting and then uh, the next thing is makeup geek shadows i have recently just gotten into these and there are a couple that i love in here my absolute favorite i got off of a recommendation from leanne it's cherry cola and i love it i have been using that one a ton also this guy which is another nice matte sort of brown shade that's called the bandwagon and then this one which is called wild west of course i would love that one i've really just been getting into these so obviously like i'm not close to hitting pan on any of them but when i've been using them i've been loving them i feel like they are like very goodly priced so if you've never checked out this brand before you might want to check them out also another makeup favorite i would have put this in last month's favorites as well it is the elsie micro silk foundation i had been wanting to try this for months and i'm so glad that i finally did this foundation is bomb i got it in the shade porcelain that's what i've been wearing and since i've been wearing this foundation i haven't gotten anybody commenting anywhere that my foundation is not the right shade for my face so i definitely think that this is a good fit for me and it has just a very nice feel to it it's not too matte but i don't really get oily after i've had it on like i've probably been wearing this makeup for about six hours or so and i mean it still looks pretty dang good in my opinion you know it's not really like creasing too much except for like my expression lines because i'm a highly expressive kind of person i just feel like kind of like no makeup would outlast me or outlast my like my crazy facial expressions but this one does a superb job up next is a skincare product and this i got from beautylish i do believe this range is sold exclusively on beautylish but you guys their site like how they package your orders when you order something from beautylish is amazing like you can tell they care customer service a 10 so this is a new brand that just launched on their site it's called the ordinary and they do have like some primers and some makeup related items but mostly it's like moisturizers skincare stuff like that so incredibly affordable so this is the salicylic acid two percent solution i also really love the packaging i know i've told you guys this before but when it comes to skincare for some reason i'm really drawn to minimalistic packaging like the exact opposite of what i'm looking for in a makeup product but for some reason when it comes to skincare i just like this sort of like medicinal looking stuff i don't know why anytime i've had a zit come up in like the past month i just put a little bit of this serum on the zit and it dries it up really well but without drying out my skin i know that i've used like i don't know like clean and clear or like the little salicylic ointment like zit zapper stuff i know i've talked about it before you kind of like use it repeatedly to get rid of a spot like sometimes that can be like very drying but this i find i can use for several days in a row and my skin doesn't get like dry and patchy in the area that i'm trying to zap the zit you know what i mean it's also got like a nice like thick consistency so it just really stays where you put it it's just like a clear ointment it almost feels like a watery type gel up next is a fragrance recommendation and i'm here to show you guys my butt perfume again if you recently watched my sephora hurl video this fragrance was in there and i had been wearing this every single day 
until I got sick. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like when I'm sick and I can't really like smell things properly or if I have a sore throat, I just like don't want fragrance anywhere near me unless it's like mentholatum smell. So unfortunately I haven't been able to wear it in the past week or so when I've been sick because I don't want to just like ruin myself on it. It is a little bit pricey, I'm gonna forewarn you, but the scent really lasts a long time. Like you only have to apply it once and you're good for the whole entire day into the evening. I think it's perfect for spring and summer. It's like a light floral citrusy kind of mashup. You definitely smell a lot of an orangey citrus smell, but I feel like it just wakes me up, gives me good energy. I like how I smell. Up next is another major, major monthly favorite. And I'm gonna do a video solely devoted to these things. If you follow me on Snapchat, you have seen them all. I get asked about them a lot, so I kinda do wanna do like a whole haul video, a video all about them. They are fidget spinners. And I'm not gonna lie, when I saw these online before I was sent those two original ones, I don't even know what happened to the original ones from Ansi Toys. Sydney was in that video. We were like opening up, I think we were opening up PR mail or it was in a weekly vlog. I don't remember my own life. When I saw them online, I was like, what is the point of this? It doesn't look that great to me. And then you get one in your hand and you cannot stop with these things. I find like especially like I've been struggling with anxiety and depression a lot lately and these things calm me down. I take them with me everywhere now. I always have one like in my pocket, in my purse, in my hand, sitting in the car, everywhere, like by the bathtub. It's an obsession. In the bed. No joke. Um, and Dogman is hooked on them as well. So over the past like month we have developed quite a collection. There are so many different like colors and shapes. I mean, I have a ton of them. I did want to just like briefly look, this one's like a battering. Um, I did just want to like show them to you guys like in this video because they really have been like, as much as I've been loving K-dramas this month, I've also been loving fidget spinners. So just watch out. But once again, it's like a gateway, okay? You, you get one and then you got to get 20 of them. Once again, we find these on Wish. They are really, really inexpensive. One, two dollars. They're great. What happened here? My last monthly favorite is a fashion item, which once again, if you guys watch my video from the other day, Dolls Kill fashion try on haul video, this purse was in there. So I had actually had those items for about two weeks before I made that video because slacker, but I had been carrying this bag all month long. So it's like this train case, it's got studs on it. It's just so cool. I feel like it goes with every outfit. It holds a lot of stuff. And I think it was only around like $25 or something. So it's really also like kind of not too bad. That is it, you guys. That is my monthly favorites. I can tell you guys the most exciting thing I did all April was my NYX meet and greet that I got to do here in Houston. I got to meet so many of you Swamp family members. It was so wonderful. Once again, just hearing all of your stories, how long you've been members of the Swamp family, like what your favorite type of video is that I do, and just like sharing fun memories. I had some people deliver me a message from Man Cat. It was just an amazing experience. Anytime I get to meet you guys, like really I want to try deep within my soul to do some kind of tour. Uh, that would definitely be challenging like my personal boundaries, limits, and phobias of traveling. But I am really strongly considering it because I do love meeting you guys so much. And I feel bad that all my meet and greets lately have just been in Texas. That is it for today's video. Do me a favor. If you watched this long, we're going to do the secret comment of the day. So if you're here, if you're still here watching me talk right now, comment golden apple. And then I know you were here with me till the very end. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, maybe hit the bell. Isn't it obnoxious how now I have to like say, leave a comment, hit the bell, hit like, don't forget to subscribe. Laundry list of stuff that we're supposed to ask you guys for now. Uh, anyway, 
Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!